How's it going guys? To be After Hours here and Kevin's with us today. So, as you all seen previously on videos of the farm, we have this pond right here. And so now we are finally going to fish the pond. It's not only a fishing challenge per se, we're just going to fish it. We have fished it a few times beforehand so we know what kind of is in the pond. So we'll see what we can get out of the pond today. I'm not entirely sure, but we will see. So we're going to set up. I got my rig set up right here. He's got his stuff down there. We're going to get set up and then uh, go fishing. So we're going to put you, I'll probably have you on, on my head. I'll have him on the chest rig and uh, we'll go from there. You are now on my head. Kevin's got one on his chest. So we're going to get set up and ready to go. I feel pretty stupid. You feel pretty stupid? You look pretty stupid. I know, I probably look really stupid. All right, so Kevin, what uh, what color worm are you going to go with first? Or, I don't know. I'm thinking about the purple. I'm going to try the orange. We had good luck on the orange last time. Purple was probably that uh, blue color. Yeah, we had, good, we had good luck with the orange last time. So I'm going to try the orange see how that works out. So, like I said, guys, we have fished this pond before. This is nothing new. So, um, we're going to try it out and, uh, and um, see where it goes. And, yes, I am on kind of a, I guess you could say a kid-style rod. I'm not an expert fisherman. Don't fish enough to be an expert fisherman, but we'll go for it. All right, guys, first cast. Kevin's already got some cast out. He's got a bite, he said, so we'll see how this works out. Sometimes... On the first try, we actually get, we actually catch something, but we'll see. Nice bullfrog I hear. Let's see. And these bass do hit really, really hard um, in this pond, so we'll know if they hit or not. See, all they got in this pond is largemouth, right? Uh, catfish, maybe some turtles. Some turtles? They jump out of this pond all the time. They also jump out right around those shrubberies right there, right around there, right around there. They also swim along the bank right through here to catch a lot of the grubs. Just gotta try different baits and lures. Um, the orange has worked out pretty good sometimes, and then the red, the red worms I have, they worked out pretty good sometimes too. How's I cast into the tree? There you go. Well, you're more professional than I am. And oh yeah, Kevin has fallen in the pond before. Also, if you if you're watching this video, I know this channel is a newer channel I've made. If this video gets to 50 likes, 50 likes, I will snorkel the pond. I've got a snorkel kit there they sit up in the truck. I'll take my GoPro, my old one right there on his chest, and I will swim and snorkel the pond and see what's in here. There's some big catfish in here. So I might get eaten. But you know, good video clips. Oh yeah. That's all it's about. It's about the video clips. Come off of a uh, purple worm. Purple worm, nice. If y'all are familiar with fishing, uh, it's called a wacky rig. That's a nice little bass. Now they get way bigger in this pond than that. That's a juvenile. Yeah, I'd say this one's just under a pound. It's got a little bit of blood right up there, but yeah. it should be okay. Yeah, no we'll give them. Gills, so that's good. We'll give them a release. Bye, I try not to fall in the Bye, pond. Jim. Where'd you Where'd you catch him at? Right over there. Nice. So, good job, Kev. We're gonna try down here on this side of the pond. I've caught a lot of fish casting this way along the bank right here and over in here. The, the middle of this pond's about 30, 40 feet deep right there and it's fed by an underground spring, so it never ever um, runs dry, which is awesome. And then it goes really shallow up through here, so it should be good. Hey, Kevin. Yeah. I love you. Say it back. But you'll text me at 2 o'clock in the morning for a booty call. Yeah. It's a complicated relationship. It's a very complicated relationship. Oh, I might have got some nibble. So I'm, I'm going to try to do, uh, every time I catch a fish, change different colors. Nice cast. I went to the other side of the bank. There was a big one that swam when we, over that way that we saw when we walked down here. Nope. My uh, bait just came off. Well, boys and girls, my bait just came off. So I'm going to try the red one. The red one I used last time I was here, and I actually had really, really good luck with that. I caught like four fish off of it. So we'll try that one and see where we go from there. Try, we're going to try this area for a few casts to see what we can get out of that. They like to hang out right around the shrubbery. So, so like I said, guys, 50, 50 likes on this video, and I will... Um, I will jump in the pond and snorkel it to see uh, what we can find. 
and see Josh get eaten by a catfish. Yeah, maybe I'll get eaten by a catfish. That'd be great uh, content. As all my buddies stand on the bank and look on. Now, this right here is my lucky spot. I've caught a ton of fish off this one little area right here. So I'm gonna run the bank right here first and see if there's anything through here. Golly, I've got nothing. All right, guys, Kevin wants me to try a little bit of a casting right here a few times just to see. And then we're probably gonna head to the garage, wait a few, wait a couple hours, kill some time, doing some other stuff. Then come back down here when it cools off a little bit because I don't think they're gonna bite with this heat right now. About 86-ish degrees. All right. All right, Bash, you're gonna jump up over there, but you won't take my bait. All right, so we took a break. The fish also started jumping again. So I'm gonna try the blue worm right here and see how that does, because the red and orange didn't get shizzle. So I'm gonna try the blue and see if I can get anything off the blue. Look at that nice puncture. There is a bass in here that the guys, the people that lived here and work here told us that it's about eight pound, 10 pound bass that live in this little pond, so we'll see. But they've been jumping up all over the place right through here. Kevin's still uh, getting his fishing fishing line ready. He still hasn't told me he loves me. It's funny though, he'll text me at two o'clock in, in the morning as a booty call, but God forbid he wants to say he loves me out in public, it doesn't work. Now he's just ignoring me. I mean, look, they just jumped up right here. Do you really? What the hell? Whoa! Of course I wasn't recording. Were you not? Damn! That's a bigger one. Yep. So I switched it up. I'm using a lipless crankbait now. Both? Yeah. I have a love-hate relationship with crankbaits. That's a good size bat. Yeah, I'm gonna need my pliers to get the hooks out of them. Okay. I'm gonna take them up here. Okay. Come on. Perform some surgery. And of course, I can't catch crap. Nice, good sized bass. Yeah, a little bigger than the first one. Yeah, it was a little bit bigger than the first one. Right. Oh, I had some just tag mine. Oh, wow, a little baby bass just jumped out right there. Caught a dragonfly. I caught that on film. Did you? Yeah. It usually is my lucky spot. Of course, Kevin catches two. Well, Oh, that's good. Well, Kevin just hooked himself. Hey, Kev. Yeah. You think I should switch over to that grub? Yeah. All right, switch over to the grub. So I've got no action with the worms at all. So I'm gonna do with the grub. Should I go with the small grub or a big grub? A white one? Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna switch out hooks right now. Too big of a hook. These little sinker ones. And uh, we should be good to go. So I got my little grub on there with my hook. Try this out. Maybe this will get better results. Who knows? All right, first cast with the white grub. All right, first cast. And I totally failed that one. Fish on! I snapped my line! Dang. That was a big fish. Oh my God. So that's the key right there is that. What the hell? All right, time to go put another thing on. We're going back to the exact same spot I was at. And that was a big fish, whatever that was. Fish on! Oh, it's a widow tiny baby bass. Look, finally, that wasn't that one that broke my line, though. That's a healthy little guy. Hey. Really? Oh, I got something. We know that's a healthy pond since we're having the kids. See, what we need to do if I snorkel is you need a fish, and I need to swim out where you're fishing. Yeah, so I can hook you? No, well, you know what I mean. Oh, fish on! A little bit. That's a little bit bigger. He's not a happy little fish. There we go. Now I got him. There we go. All right. The first, eh, about a half a pound little bass. Pretty good size. All right, Jerry. Go have fun with your fishy friends. Wife back in. There he goes. Well, Kevin, you've caught the biggest one so far. Till next time. Well, Til next tomorrow. Time. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, we work together. Unfortunately. All right, now that we caught some baby bass, grab her some bigger stuff. Let's see here, sit over here, Let's cast out. Bye, Kevin. See what I can catch when Kevin's not here, stealing all my fish. So, anyways, how do you guys like this? How do you all like these videos? Um, 
if y'all like and give a thumbs up comment see if you want more of this stuff like I am not a professional fisherman whatsoever I think y'all can tell by the videos but I do enjoy it now that I can know how to catch some stuff uh, like comment since you like this stuff and um, we'll go from there now like I said in the video 50,000 or 50 likes 50,000 50 likes and I will uh, snorkel the pond. I'll get, I have snorkel gear. I'll jump in the pond, snorkel it. It'll be a fun time, so we'll see. Oh, shoot. Already got one nibbling. New spot, guys. Already got one nibbling on it. Oh, got it. Oh, it's a little sunfish. Came up into, there's some pretty big sunfish in here too, guys. I mean, these little sunfish will go after these grubs all day long too. There we go. Oh, little George, have fun. Nobody's going after this now. A few more casts, no contact. I'll switch out the lures. Try over there and see if I can get anything. Try these little tiny sparkle ones right here and see how they do. Because it's kind of green like the water, but it's got some sparkles in it. And see if that will help any. So like I said, we'll go down here to where Kevin was fishing. If I can grab my net. Remember, my net would be great. But Kevin's fishing right here. And see how we can do. Little baby bass. So technically I have caught more fish than Kevo. But they're just smaller. So they have been breeding in here. So that's a good sign this pond is very healthy. Damn where did he swallow that thing? I didn't get the release on that one because it was bare beneath his damn tongue. Hopefully the kit thing survived, it started bleeding, but it wasn't bleeding from the gills, it was bleeding from the wound. So I'm hoping the little guy survives, but that somehow that's sometimes how it goes. He swam off really good though, so I think he's got a good shot of making it. Another little baby one it looks like. Is that the same one I caught before? I, I hope to God it's not. Kind of right in the side of his gill, right in the gill and the mouth, so that's good. No, I don't, this is a smaller one it looks like. There we go. Alright, little Jimmy. Go back in the water. Alright guys, that's going to do it for this video. I'm going to pack up. I got some errands to run and stuff like that. But it was a good day fishing. Congratulations to Kevin for catching the biggest biggest ones pretty much. I caught some baby ones pretty much. But we're going to wrap up. We'll be back at this pond more for more videos. Especially if you all like them and stuff like that. Make sure guys, remember 50 likes on this video. And I will snorkel the pond. So other than that guys, hope you all enjoyed it. Hope you all have a great day. Um, please join the family. Please subscribe if you like the content. Never give up on your dreams. And always do what you love.